Hi, this session is on rounding off um, and they're pre-skills to our topic on finding the circumference. Um, now, we need to round off to specific decimal places when working with pi as pi is an irrational number and its decimal never ends. So in, our, in this topic, we'll be um, doing a lot of rounding off. Now, to practice, this question says round off the following to the second decimal place. Okay, another way of writing this is correct to two decimal places. That's why this one's in brackets. If you see correct to two decimal places, it's the same as rounding off to the second decimal place. Okay, now a key word um, is decimal place or decimal places. What they mean are just the decimal numbers. Um, so for example, if I look at the first one, 4.4545, this has four decimal places. Any number after the decimal, is a decimal place. So the first one is four, so first decimal place, second, third, fourth. Okay, and it can keep on going forever. Um, we want to round off to the second decimal place. So the second one in this case is five. So we'll be um, looking at five and working with five. So with all of these numbers here, um, we'll be focusing on the second decimal place. Okay, so in here it's two, over here it's eight, and so on. So please have a go first if you know how to do this already, just to practice. Okay, before we start the questions, just write these two notes down. Um, so, and I'll explain what they are if you're not sure. If four or less, so four, three, two, one, or zero, um, the decimal place, the number stays the same. If five or more, so five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we round up by adding a one. So you'll see me adding a plus one. So just write this down. Okay, so with our first one, Remember, we're rounding to the second decimal place. So if it helps, you can put a box around or highlight the numbers that we want to keep. So two decimal places, one, two. I don't want these ones. These can go. The whole number stays there. But before this goes, I need to do a check. So go to the second decimal place because the question said we're rounding off to the second decimal place and it's a four. Now the number after it, which is five, I've got to check. If it's five or more, we add a one. So because it's a five um, and it's getting large, I add a one to the second decimal place. So I'll have four plus one. So four plus one is just five. So my final answer when I round it off will be 4.55. That four became a five because it was five or more. So the only thing we gotta do is add a one if it's five or more. If, it, if, it was, if this five was a four or a two, um, it would have stayed the same. Okay, for question two, we've got 2.2222, so lots of twos. But once again, we know second decimal place, our answer will look something like this. Before we round off, let's check. So the number after this second decimal place, so one, two, so it's also a two. Because it's four or less, I don't add a one. I don't write plus one, I just leave it. So the answer is 2.22. So that's rounded off to two decimal places. Okay, my third question. So same thing, second decimal place. So one, two decimal places. My number, oh, my answer will look something like this. Sorry, it just comes off automatically. All right, so before I write this down, let's do a check. The number after the eight is zero. Because it's four or less, I don't add a one to that eight. So my answer is just 6.58. Okay, for our next one, we've got lots of fives. So once again, where's my second decimal place? There it is. If it helps, you can highlight what we want to keep. Um, the rest is about to go, but do a check. So the number after this second decimal place is five. Because it's five or more, I add a one to that five. So I'm gonna write plus one to make it clear. So five plus one is six. So this becomes a six. So I end up with 5.56. For number five, once again, second decimal place, my number will look something like this. Um, but before I just copy it down, let's check. The number after this nine is also nine. Because it's five or more, I've got to add a one to the nine. Now this one um, is a little bit different, or look will look a little bit different, because when I add a one to that nine, nine plus one is 10. Now I can't do this, 23.8, and then just write 10. I end up with three decimal places, and that's wrong. So we don't write the 10, we just keep adding like normal addition until we can't add any more. There's nothing to carry over. So get your decimal place ready, just like you would in addition. So nine plus one is 10. 
put the zero down and carry the one. So eight plus one is nine, nothing else to carry. So 23 stays the same. And that's my answer. So this one here happened to have a zero at the end. Now, even though 23.90 is the same as 23.9, because they want us to show two decimal places, we will leave the zero here, okay? Um, so always do that, especially in VCE, when um, examiners can be quite fussy, always show two decimal places. Okay, with this one, it's actually the hardest one you'll ever get when it comes to rounding off decimal places. Um, now, before we even do this, 9.9999, what number is that close to? Is it closer to 10 or 9? Well, well, straight away, we can see it's really close to number 10. So we might see that um, in our whole number. So for this one, our whole number is going to change, and you'll see why. So once again, we're doing the exact same thing to start off. Rounding off to two decimal places, I've got two decimal places here. The number after 9 is also 9, so it's 5 or more. So I've got to add a 1 to that 9, okay? So get my decimal point ready. 9 plus 1 is 10. Put the 0 down, carry the 1. Just like before, 9 plus 1 is 10, so I've got to keep carrying. Put the 0 down and carry the 1 to this number 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. Because there are no more numbers, just like we do in addition, we write the number down. And there I go. I can see I've got my 10 and I've got 0 0.00. I'll leave those zeros even though the num the answer is just really 10 because they want us to show two decimal places we write those zeros. And that's how we round off um, these kind of numbers. So that's the hardest one you'll get. Now with the, the last one it's got two times pi. So what you need to do is make sure you put this into a calculator to see what some of the decimals are. Because we are multiplying by pi um, our number will be irrational. The decimal will go on forever. So we're sort of doubling pi. Okay, so I'll use an online calculator so you can see. So um, make sure you look at scientific calculators because you need to have that button pi. So if I just push pi, just to have a look in equals, pi is that irrational number, 3.14154 and it goes on forever. Calculators actually round off these numbers. So it's actually rounded off this digit here. So the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's got eight decimal places and it's rounded off the eighth one. Okay, because calculators can only show you so many numbers. Now, the question said two times pi. So if I go two times pi, and I'm really doubling pi, I've got six, which makes sense because if I double three, it's six. And now my decimal has also been doubled and changed. So I'll write these down. Okay, so there's the number we got from our calculator. Now we need to round this off to two decimal places. All right, so we've got 6.28. There's my decimal places that I need, so two decimal places. Before I get rid of everything else, let's check. The number after 8 is 3. Because it's 4 or less, I just leave it. Don't add a 1 to the 8. So round it off to two decimal places is 6.28. Okay, and we will be doing a lot of these kind of questions um, in our working out where we're working with pi, okay? Thank you.